Oh, what is up, guys? Charles goes here, bringing you another day, video. Right? This time I'm gonna do the top ten ways that you should go in a zombie apocalypse. So oh, okay, let's yeah. get into it. Number ten. Number ten is a abandoned house because not a lot of zombies will go in there if you lock the doors and stuff. And but it is a number ten because there could be animals in there. You only have a little lack of food and water. There and there could be um already people. Or zombies in there that you don't know of. Hey, number yeah. nine. Number nine is underground. Anywhere underground because... Because, um... Well, I just thought I'd put this here because I thought it was a good decision. Because there, cause there's a lot of room underground. And if you set up camp correctly, you could survive through the zombie apocalypse. But if there's already zombies down there, then you're practically screwed. So, that's why I picked that for the number 9 place. Number 8. Number 8 is a farmhouse because it would be really good because there's usually fences around it. And there's usually horse and sheep and chickens and all this stuff that you can eat and drink. So, don't, don't, I'm not worrying about food and water at a farmhouse. But there's other stuff. If one zombie climbs over the fence and, and gets into the house without you knowing, then, well, you're screwed. Number seven. Number seven is a factory. Any kind of factory would be good, I think, because there is. It's a big building usually. There's a lot of rooms. There's probably food and water. But, like I said, if one zombie gets in, then, well, you're screwed. And a lot of other people are probably going to be in that factory. So if one zombie gets in, affects one person, and that person will affect another person. Then before you know it, there will be about a thousand zombies trying to kill you. Number six. Number six is a walk-in closet because um there would not be a they would, I don't think that any zombies would get in. But if you don't have food and water, then you could die. But a walk-in closet, I think, would be a really good place because there's a lot of places where you could store stuff and hide. Number five. Number five is a panic room. A lot of people have these in their houses. Great, great plates for food. There's a lot of food. There's a lot of water. There's barely any exits. And you there's usually weapons or something there. So that's why I thought that a panic room would be really good. Number four. Number four is a secret room. Um, Like probably in a bookcase or something like that. Under a staircase, anything. Because then... Of course, zombies won't go in there. And if you, and if you um, set up correctly, you have a lot of food and water. It's usually in your house, so yeah, I guess it'll be a good, great place. Number three. Number three is a tractor trailer because if you hide in the back, I bet you that no zombie would ever come in ever. You never have a problem. And because if you set up correctly, you could live through the zombie apocalypse back there. Because some rooms you can't. But I think that you can. And if you really have to leave, this is why I think that I put this for number three. If you really have to leave, you could just jump into the truck part and then you're gone. And, the, and a zombie will never get you. Number two. Number two is a cruise ship. I thought this was a great decision. There's about 50,000 life supplies of food and water and drinks and everything. And if you're really bored, there's a lot to do, too. So any kind of ship would be good, but I thought that the cruise ship would be a best. And zombies would never, ever get on, no matter what, unless you become a zombie. But think about it. There's going to be a lot of people trying to get on, but if you're the only one on board, you're never, ever, ever going to get hurt because there's a lot of rooms even if a zombie gets in. And if you really have to leave, then there's a bunch of safety boats supplied with food and water. Number one. Number one is everywhere. Never stop moving. Ever. Ever. Because if you stop at one place and a zombie gets you, you're done. Never stop moving. Only in nights when you have to camp out. That's the only time that you stop moving. This is what I do. I never go anywhere except for moving and keep on moving and keep on moving. Never stop. What is up, guys? Charles Ghost here. Thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and more videos will come. This is Charles Ghost saying, tell all your friends about this, and comment the top 10 places that you would go in a zombie apocalypse.
and I didn't say this, but my number one rule is in a zombie apocalypse, never stop moving. And also comment below your number one rule in a zombie apocalypse. So anyway, thanks for watching once again. This is Charles Gross, and please like, please subscribe, and please tell all your friends about this. I hope that you enjoyed this video.